So we're looking at a very, very different part of the world. Um, with some incredible wildlife of its own. Uh, you're a, or European bison, uh, the largest land animal in Europe. Um, snow leopards uh, were a, a common feature. Um, but a whole range of amazing mammals. Um, but maybe they're not as high profile as in Africa, um, but we think they're incredibly important nonetheless. So what did we do? Well, we designed a research program um, with uh, researchers at WWF and the University of Central Florida, who uh, helped design some of the research study, because we based it around three big themes. We're interested in range of livelihoods, we're interested in the poaching threat and the anti-poaching capability of the ranges, and we're interested in transboundary cooperation, because a lot of the areas that we're working in, and particularly the Caucasus region, you'll notice up there Azerbaijan and Georgia on the list, incredibly politically contested region. So it's really interesting to think about how rangers um, work across international borders, uh, even within a country do they work between protected areas. So we've picked out five key countries to start with, uh, really important uh, to get the support of each of the governments. Uh, Azerbaijan only came off, I think it was a month and a half before we were due to leave. It was a change of government, uh, or, as in, it's a dictatorship, so it, it's not really a change of government overall, but a change of minister, a uh, minister for the environment. The first time in 13 years, the minister had changed, and um, that was what was needed for us to get permission, uh, essentially, to go and do this work. So government support was really important, and we were kind of at the whims uh, of the individual political systems. And importantly, the study ethics for the whole project were managed uh, by Oxford through Wild Group. Our overall aim is essentially to better understand the work and needs of wildlife rangers in unstudied environments. Um, how can you help rangers if you don't know how they're operating, if you don't know where they're working? In far too many cases, um, Kyrgyzstan's a great example, there's no count of rangers for the whole country. The government doesn't know how many rangers there are, let alone what they're doing. Um, so it's really kind of basic data that's absolutely essential um, to supporting them. 